high swing dancers, if you're dealing with some knee discomfort or even some hip discomfort, it could be coming from your quads. So I'm going to show you how to loosen up those quads. Um, first off, you know, just the position I'm sitting in um, is going to give me kind of a stretch or even I call it like an internal massage of the muscles because as you can see, they're being stretched out, smushed and compressed. So even just a position like this can actually do a little bit to loosen up the quads. Um, I like to also do something kind of like a lot of martial arts do is just kneel. If you have too many issues with your knees, this may be uncomfortable, but this is just another really easy, lazy way to kind of loosen up the quads. It can be uncomfortable. So just do it for a few seconds. Put like a yoga mat, a towel, a pillow underneath if you can't tolerate it, but this is just like another way. And so I'm going to show you with a foam roller, little tips and tricks and some you know, varieties of things you, you may already know using a foam roller. And so you may be familiar with just doing this um, typical rolling back and forth type of massage. And one of the things I like to express is that there's a lot of real estate. The quads are huge. They're gigantic. They go from right where your belt is, where my pants are my belt, all the way down to below your kneecap. So you don't just want to stay on one spot of the quad in this position. You want to make sure that you kind of roll as far down as you feel comfortable all the way up until you feel comfortable. So you want to get this whole real estate up and down. And you want to see where you had the most restrictions. You may want to linger there. Now, another thing that you uh, can do is, one, you can notice how I'm holding myself up, but I have to be relaxed. I can't be clenched up or tensed up in my legs. My feet are dangling. They're not, they're not tense. My neck is not super tense. I should be relaxing in this position. My fingers should be able to move. And I'm engaging my abs a little bit, of course, but I'm not, you know, tensing up way too much. So the other thing you can do is you can find a spot. You can either hold there with your arms up or you can also just lay down and just feel that discomfort and that tension. I can move up a little bit more and just lay down and be relaxed in this position. Okay. Now, the other thing that you may not be too familiar with is to get a little bit more of variety into that uh, soft tissue. I will call this, we'll call this soft tissue mobility. So you can lay here and just bend and move that muscle. Sometimes it kind of tethers down that knot and it kind of moves it around and it can loosen up a specific area. Once you move it, kick your butt with your heel, go up and down. You can even do a little bit on the inside, turn your leg like this, turn it out to the outside a little bit. You can turn your body a bit, move to the side. You can bend up all the way or you can just do little pulses. I can put my left toe down if I wanted to. I can also twist in and out and do this. Find a different spot, I can twist in and out and it gets a different part of the muscle fibers. I could also lay down completely and do a little bit of a twisting in and out. Okay? You can, if you wanted to, also just do one side. So it looks something like this. So I could something, do something like that, which gets a little bit of more of the medial quad, move all the way up. I can twist a little bit with my body. Okay? I can pin this toe down to let this leg relax a bit, and I can still bend. And now you're going to get more into the groin adductors. But the quad does go pretty far to the inside as well. Um, you can also do something more to the outside, which is like the vastus lateralis is the name of the muscle. And I can do something like this. Not quite the IT band, but I can still get the quads here. I can bend the bottom leg if I wanted to and get a different area. I can go further down and bend. Like for me personally, I feel that a lot right there. So I probably should work on that a little bit later this afternoon. Um, that's with a foam roller. A couple of variations that you can do is also, if you don't want to have that much discomfort, you can just sit down and you can just press down, give your body weight, put your elbows on it, find different areas. I could rest up against the couch so I don't have to work so hard holding myself up. And I can do that. And the face is for dramatic effect. But <laughs> that's kind of like right there I feel a little bit of something. And my foot's tensed up a little bit. I also have sneakers on. But I would just make sure that I'm not stiffening up down there because if I tighten up, this is indirectly tightening up as well. So if I'm loosening this up and it tightens up, I'm kind of, you know, kind of canceling out the effect. So you can kind of use a foam roller and just roll yourself out. If I don't have that, 
I can literally just use the palm of my hand and do that. And that spot that I just discovered today, I actually can feel that just with the palm of my hand. Of course, your hands might get tired if you have a shoulder problem. It may not be the best thing to do, but just kind of find the different regions that you feel tension and try to loosen it up. Now, if you don't have a foam roller, that's totally fine. If you have a lot of quad tightness and knee discomfort, it's been there for years or months for a while, you don't even need a foam roller. I could probably get just as much. I can feel it right there. I don't need anything. I can give myself a massage, pretty deep one actually for me, not so much on the left side. I don't feel anything on the left side right there and just twist and move your body around. Just the floor right there, I can feel something. I can bend up. You may not be able to go all the way straight with this tactic, but I can get still something. Okay, you move on the inside if I wanted to. And I can go here. I can lean up or, or prop up on my elbows, get a little bit of a different area, or I can lay it all the way down. Okay, so hopefully, that gives you a little bit of, uh, you know, some variations on the typical uh, foam rolling for your quads or quad massaging or quad soft tissue work. But it's really important to make sure these muscles are loosened up because as we use them in swing dancing, they become bound up, they get irritated. Sometimes what will happen is you have a little bit of an injury, a tweak, and the muscle actually has a micro, micro, micro tear. And what it does, it doesn't fully heal like this. It heals up a little bit bound up and in a weird direction. And that's little scar tissues, which is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It's not the bad scar tissue. But you have to give your body some assistance in realigning them. And that's what soft tissue work or soft tissue mobility does using tools, using somebody else as well, or doing it yourself. So hopefully this was helpful. Uh, my name is Adrian Miranda. I'm a physical therapist and swing dancer. Swing strong.